Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today I'm going to talk about one of my new UK stocks that I started buying very heavy last week which was best of the best. Now the reason why I started buying this stock really heavy last week is because they brought out some interim results. Them interim results had a few statements that I think made people a little bit nervous and because it had been on a good run people took profit but for me that gave me a massive buying opportunity to go into this stock and go buy it and I'll share the reasons why I think I can make some good money on this one and why I think this is a potential 100% return over the next five years. So if you could smash the like button if you're new make sure you subscribe. If you do want to know when I'm buying and selling companies like Best of the Best and as well as two exclusive videos a week join the Patreon, there's also a Discord on there with 600 members on as well. And also if you do want to buy some shares in Best of the Best, there's some links to some brokers in the description. The best place to buy this one would be on DeGiro rather than Free Trade. There's a link to that in the description as well. So Best of the Best is currently trading around about £18. Now this stock is very volatile, it's a very small market cap. So with it being a small market cap, it means that the has the potential to move around quite a bit as well as that the liquidity is quite low on it as well so just be very careful when you're buying this on a broker the spread could be a little bit not in your favor that's why i think the giro isn't too bad for this um so that's why i've in particular been buying it on there but the company is currently trading at a 15 p ratio so this is a pretty decent p ratio and the stock had been on a very good run recently uh, which made me really nervous to go buy this one but now we are currently down 45 percent and because we're on that dip at the moment i'm very happy to go buy this company you know this company at its 52 week highs was around about a 36 pound company so now it's gone from 36 pound down to an 18 pound stock i'm a lot happier to go buy this company and build a little decent position in this one now in its recent preliminary reports it did 45 million and that was up from 17 million last year yeah that is a massive massive amount of increase and as well on the profit front it did 4 million last year and it did 14 million this year so the growth is absolutely amazing and also on the dividend here you can see 122p versus 37p so the dividend has been increased as well because of the profit as well which is really impressive numbers so you're looking at that thinking, okay, I'm getting a company at 15p ratio that just grew revenue at a huge amount, profit a huge amount, and upped its dividend by three times. It's really good. So um, what, what is kind of going on with this company? Well, basically this company was a company that basically you enter a raffle for a, or you did a spot the ball, and this was mainly based at airports, and you'd go to an airport, and there'd be a car there, and if you got it right, you'd win the car. Now basically what they managed to do is, and this really helps time perfectly because obviously we had the CV situation and no one went to airports but they went to an online business model only and because of them going to an online business mo model only CV situation happened just time perfectly the revenues exploded and the profits exploded which I showed you guys uh, just a few seconds ago so the online has grown absolutely huge and because of the ability that they've gone through on marketing as well the marketing for best of the best is absolutely amazing uh, and yeah the online growth has been absolutely worked out such a treat for them and the timing of it all has been great now obviously the growth has absolutely exploded on this company revenue side of it the revenue has gone up a huge amount the profit's gone up a huge amount now realistically this probably won't continue it probably won't be able to continue at the rates it has done because it had a lot of things helping it like the cv situation and but even though with that taken out, I still expect this company to grow double digits around 10 to 20% a year on revenue and profit, which will be very good for a company that trades at a 15p ratio. Just to kind of put that into context, if we kind of went to like Greg's, for example, Greg's normally when pre CV was trading like a 30p ratio, for example, and this company is going to grow a lot faster than Greg's. So when you look at the valuation, it just seems just so, so cheap. And as well as having a company that's growing at double digit rate, just look at the dividend. This dividend is really good. You know, you're picking it. What they're doing is they're making a very high profitable company right now because they're making very high profits. They are returning that to shareholders through dividends. And the dividend yield this year, obviously the, there's a special dividend that was in there, but the dividend yield was 4%, which is a very good yield on a dividend. And as well as that, the payout ratio as well on this dividend is around about 4% as well. So you're picking a company here that has amazing revenue growth, Gave, gives you a little bit of a dividend and as well the, the potential for this dividend to get up up on this company over the next few years is really good strong balance sheet it doesn't have to worry about any debt it's got nice amounts of cash and because it's posed, now posting so much amount of profit that profit is just sitting on its balance sheet it can go buy companies it can increase its marketing it can expand it can run more competitions it can return that as a dividend to its shareholders is really good. You've got the combination here of a cheap valuation, 15p ratio, with the growth, with the dividend, with the balance sheet. And the top thing that just tops it off is like, I really like this company. 
and the one thing that put me off is it's just been on a really good share price run but now the share price is nearly half it's down 45 percent from all-time highs so i've got a big massive dip on this company i am still playing this very cautious from the point of view that there's potential that this could go down a little bit more because it is volatile it's been on a good run but we are getting a lot cheaper than what it was now i mean i don't know how much cheaper a 15 15p company for what you get with a growth and dividend could go we'll see what happens but it's on a dip which i was waiting for and i did start a position about a month ago but since then well last week because of the dip uh, you guys on patreon will know this is that i went and then actually tripled my position uh, from here so it's getting a nice decent position in my portfolio so everything there is really positive with the company i think the main reason why this is down 45 percent is because in the recent earnings basically management went on to say look um uh the amount of customers that we have is slightly slowing down which you expect you know this company isn't going to grow at 100 percent rate every year that's not going to happen the cv situation uh, cv situation helped it in massive amounts but realistically growth wise you know this company is going to grow at 10 20 percent revenue rate every year which is still fantastic and like i say when you consider that you get the dividend and it's at a 15p ratio you know you had to pay like a 30p ratio for greg's on that one so i think when your combination when you run you know what the valuation is the growth that this will offer the dividend in the next five years i can easily see this at a hundred percent return and i'll also pick a bit of a dividend up as well these two little red flags that i think you should just be careful of with this company is that it does have a small moat like this this is why even though i like the company it's probably not going to come in my uh top five biggest uk holdings and um, just because the moat is quite small on that one and what i mean by that is that realistically you know this company runs a uh, competitions to win luxury cars and you do that through uh, spot the ball contests weekly for, for another company to kind of come in and to you know go out and buy a car and then run a spot the ball competition online it's not hard to do like for someone else to do that it won't take that long to set up and because of that it is open to a lot of competition uh, and not having much loyalty as well from customers because they could easily go somewhere else and do this so from this is why this isn't going to be a top five position for me uh, which is something i'll just make clear because it just has a a few more risks uh, with the company where it is at compared to something else you know if, it, if it take like a greg's for example for another company to come in now and open up a thousand bakeries um you know they won't be able to do that over a, a six months period you know that would take them quite a few years being more like a best of the best it would take them you know a six months period to set up a company very similar yeah you could do it and that's the only other risk that i do have with this company and why i, I just take that into consideration as well and obviously the last point which i mentioned a bit earlier in the video is like it is a small market cap small market cap could be a lot more volatile as you can see you know it lost 45 percent within you know a couple of months really and as well as that you know the low liquidity point of view as well is that you know you got to be really careful you know where you're buying and selling it you could be careful that the spread on it for example as well so I, it's not too bad on zero but i've seen things like on trading two and two where it's just absolutely crazy so you just want to be careful as well with the platform that you will be buying this one on uh, as well but yeah hope that was useful anyway and me talk about my new uk stock well it's mostly new I, it's now come in decent position after last week but i know a few guys were like messaging me on this one about it and if i were buying and stuff but as always uh priority goes to patreon and then we'll make a video a little bit later on on it but yeah if you do want instant updates make sure to join the patreon but yeah i did buy some shares in there best of the best after the drop last week so hope you enjoyed the video anyway smash the like button if you're new and you found that helpful subscribe and i'll see you next video